On November 1, 2017, President Masood Barzani of the Kurdistan Regional Government, KRG, in accordance with legislation passed by the Kurdistan Parliament several days before, stepped down and devolved many of the powers of his office jointly to his nephew Prime Minister Neshirvan Barzani, Deputy Prime Minister Qubad Talabani, the Speakership of Parliament, and the Judicial Council. The bill at first appeared to be a significant concession by Barzani's Kurdistan Democratic Party, KDP, to relieve the impasse surrounding his extra-legal retention of office and raised the possibility of democratic reforms. However, it is instead an attempt by the KDP to maintain its dominance over the KRG in the wake of the independence referendum, and for the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, PUK, to preserve what remains of its long-standing and exclusive power-sharing relationship with the KDP in an increasingly volatile and polarized political environment. After October 16, when the Iraqi central government began to reassert federal authority over the disputed territories in retaliation for the KRG's independence vote, confidence in the KRG as a political system plummeted and calls increased in volume and urgency for President Barzani, the referendum's mastermind, to resign. In addition to driving a wedge between the KDP and the PUK, the referendum galvanized the opposition. The Goran movement the KRG's second largest political party, which was expelled from the government in 2015 along with other Soleimani ya based parties Komal and the Alliance for Justice and Democracy, called for dissolving the government and establishing a national salvation government to replace what they regard as a dysfunctional, partisan oligarchy. However, on October 25th, Goran agreed to return to parliament after receiving guarantees that a legislative proposal would provide for President Barzani's resignation and the dissolution of the presidency. While Goran approved of Barzani's decision to step down from the presidency, it raised objections to the proposal's content and to the legislative process that drafted it, which Goran claimed merely packaged a joint KDP, PUK decree as a law to be retroactively approved by parliament. The proposal was drafted in an inter-Politburo summit between the KDP and PUK, along with the Islamic Union. While devolving the president's powers under the 2005 presidency law, which granted the president of the KRG expansive executive powers, the new bill would only remain in effect until the next round of presidential and parliamentary elections, which had been scheduled for November 1st but were postponed for eight months in late October by act of a PUK and KDP-dominated parliament. This draft law provided that that until elections, no law or decision shall be made in contradiction of this law, precluding amendments to the 2005 law until at least June 2018. During the October 29th session, these provisions raised objections from Goran lawmakers, who have consistently demanded that the presidency law be repealed and that elections proceed on November 1st. Protests from the Goran and Komal delegations demanding further debate before a vote were met with violence from KDP MPs and journalists, and later that evening KDP supporters stormed the Parliament Hall, attacking journalists and threatening opposition MPs while crowds in Dohuk and Zakho burned Goran and PUK party offices. According to the new law, Nesh Irvin Barzani in his capacity as Prime Minister will assume most of the powers of the presidency, including the authority to represent the KRG at the federal level and abroad. Yet, in the spirit of prior power-sharing agreements between the KDP and PUK, he will share the powers to dissolve parliament, declare a state of emergency, and assume legislative powers during emergencies with Deputy Prime Minister Qubad Talabani of the PUK. Therefore, in addition to ensuring that the Barzani family remains in control of the KRG's legal institutions, the PUK can also lay claim to a shared presidential mandate. The law also delegates the power to veto all or part of legislation passed by Parliament, to the Speakership of Parliament notably not to the Speaker. This terminology indicates that the KDP and PUK elites who drafted the law intend for these duties to fall jointly to Secretary of Parliament Bigard Talibani of the PUK and to Deputy Speaker Jafar Aminki a member of the KDP who has assumed the duties of the Speaker in the absence of Speaker Yusuf Mohammed. Speaker Yusuf Mohammed, of Goran, has been prevented from entering the capital Erbil since Barzani forcibly dissolved Parliament in 2015. Therefore, 
the text of the law circumvents the issue of Yusuf Mohammed's readmission to parliament, which the KDP has steadfastly resisted. Additionally, the KRG's Judicial Council, led by and comprised mostly of KDP loyalists with some seats reserved for PUK members, will be able to appoint judges and public prosecutors.